guys, I'm here with Carl Simmons, about to floor clean today at the Western Province Awards. Uh, how are you feeling about all these awards coming to this new team? Obviously, you were pivotal this season. I watched a lot of your games and I saw how crucial you were for this team. How have you settled in and, and what do you feel about these awards that you've won? Um, I think the big thing was the new coach. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, Ashy P used to be our coach and he signed all of us. But then things obviously happened for him, which is which is gone. But Snakes coming in was un unbelievable. And um, for me personally, I just felt the backing that he had and the backing that he showed for all all contracted players and even guys outside of the squad. He just, whatever we did at training, he backed us in the games and there was never any consequences for for opportunities and stuff like that. Um, he let the players do what they were, were paid to do and were picked to do. And um, yeah, I think a lot of credit has to go to the coaching staff just to just to back us. A very young team, and I think we're still rebuilding. Even now, we won trophies, but we're still in a rebuilding phase. And I think a lot of credit goes to the management and Snakes specifically. Yeah. Have you improved your game over the years? I mean, we know personally. I mean, I remember when when the Global T20 was happening, and then you were already on the radar, and a lot of us um, were looking, where's Carl? When is he going to get a big gig? You know, um, what have you done? Internally, mentally, physically, even technically, to improve your game and to get to the level that you are currently playing on. I think I, I had to take a big step in, in almost leaving. Um, I was quite happy in Stella Marsh. I was quite happy at Paul, and I, I got my debut, luckily enough, with the Cobras back in the day. Um, but I had to take a big step just on myself and take a risk to leave, go elsewhere, go half fault, and, and learn something there. Mm -hmm. um, but to get the call back, I, like I say to all of my my friends and stuff, my family, and if you have to tell me why I was at Stella Marsh, if you want to. A Western Province contract in five years' time, I would say any like any day of the week, I would I would happily take that. And mm. it's eventually happened. I didn't think it would happen. I was happy in Pretoria, but coming back to Cape Town, again, just the backing from from the coach specifically, yeah. and then the players. I mean, like someone like Tony De Zorzi, who's SAA and probably on the on the brink of yeah. of a protein call up as well. He's had my backing. Um, guys like Buren, Avi. Uh, I roomed with Tepo Mareki as well, like senior players. I've had I've had a lot to learn from George as well. He hasn't been around. He's obviously done well for himself, yeah. but we've worked well together. Uh, Jammers as well. Like we've we've all done very well together, and I think we've we've got a squad of not 11 individuals. We've got a, we've got a squad of 16, 17 guys. Yeah. Even someone like David Bedingham coming back from the UK. He is. I spoke to him now in England, and he is he's yeah. he's excited to play for <laughs> Cape Town. Like yeah. everyone. I mean, Newlands is. It's up there in the top three stadiums in the world, comfortably, and everyone wants to play here. And I think other players signing like Eddie Moore and stuff like guys like that, they, they want to play for Cape Town. And I think credit goes to Snakes, uh, the coach, just for for starting something that I think is a is maybe a more of a long term, yeah. five year, seven year program. But we're only going from strength to strength, and that's it's valid for every individual in the squad. Yeah. You've been with a lot of coaches. What makes you've mentioned Snakes now a lot in this interview? What makes him different than to, to the other coaches that you've been with? What makes him special? That individual backing. Every every single day at practice, he doesn't ask how's your how's your cover drive at the moment. He asks how's it off the field. How, what's it like at home? How's your girlfriend or non-girlfriend, whatever? Um, how many? Uh, like, what did you do on the weekend? He, he's got that full package as a manager, as a as a as a player manager instead of not just. Is your front foot in line? Is your trigger? Is your is your front arm working? He's got the whole package, and I think it's it's more of like a in a squad full of guys like Wayne Ponnell and Buren Hendricks who have played all over the world and for South Africa, uh, Carl Varane as well. You've you've got a coach that is more worried about your your almost your off the field and yeah. your and your mindset and mental health as opposed to your your tactical ability. Because I think we've all got skill. Yeah. Uh, the whole the whole squad is just just boosting with skill. But that mental health, you've got to take into account that mental ability as well. So looking forward to your career um, the rest of the season. I also want to ask you about that step up to four-day cricket. Uh, we know that youngsters are not getting a lot of experience in Red Bull cricket. What sort of tips can you give them about the four-day game? I think a bit of patience. Um, waiting, waiting for your opportunity. But also what I've been, what I've tried to tell myself is be ready for your opportunity. It might come in two months. It might come in six months. You look at Tristan Stubbs, who's, his career's just blown up. But some other guys, it might take six, seven years. I, I've taken, I think, six years for my first pro contract. Mm. And it's been a lot of hard work and stuff like that. And I'm not the only one. There's a, there's a lot of guys who are still trying to find their feet at 26, 27, yeah. 28. And I think some guys real, think that their career's done, but 
you've got to have a bit of patience. Uh, four day cricket, you've got to back your skills and just a lot of hard work at practice. Um, and it does help with the coaches backing as well, the management's backing. Um, yeah. But it does, it's a bit of patience is required yeah, from time to time in South African cricket for sure. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Carl. Excellent. Well done for the season and good luck for the next Thank one. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers man.